In this chapter, we will explore the major problems faced by women in the labor and livelihood sector. We will dwell into the challenges they encounter, such as wage inequality, limited career choices, and lack of support facilities. Additionally, we will discuss the importance of inequality in the sphere of work and labor for women, highlighting the positive impact it can have on individual and society as a whole. Lastly, we will examine the policies that aim to protect women's rights in the sphere of work and livelihood. By the end of this chapter, you will have a deeper understanding of the issues women face, the significance of gender inequality, and the policies in place to safeguard women's rights in the workplace. Women in the Productive Sphere This refers to the role of women in contributing to the economy through both paid and unpaid work. It highlights the challenges women face such as the wage gap and limited career choices, as well as the exclusion of women in the certain industries. The right to decent work. The Magna Carta of Women recognizes that women have the right to decent work. This includes fair remuneration, job security, social protection, and support services for maternal functions and family obligations. The multiple burden of women. Women often have to juggle both productive work and reproductive roles at home, leading to a double day or multiple burden. Societal expectations and limited work options can put a strain on their family relationships and work opportunities. The valuation of care work. It emphasized the importance of valuing care work regardless of who performs it. Women working in the in care industries recognized as workers and supported with their specific needs. Women-friendly workspaces. Gender responsive policies are needed to address the needs of both women and men in the workplace. These policies may include parental leaves, accessible care work, and tax reforms, neglecting the needs of women in unpaid reproductive work perpetuates gender inequalities. Women and Work in the Philippines The participation of Filipino women in the labor force increased in 2013. More women are engaged in the private sphere, including domestic work. Women-headed households in the Philippines earned more than male-headed households. Gender segregation is observed in different labor sector. The average daily basic pay of women is lower than that of men. Ang paglahok ng mga Pilipinang kababaihan sa pwersa ng paggawa na tumataas noong 2013. Mas maraming kababaihan ang nakikilahok sa pribadong sektor kasama na ang trabahong domestiko. Mas malaki ang kinikita ng mga tahan ng pinamumunuan ng mga kababaihan kaysa sa mga pinamumunuan ng mga kalalakian. May gender segregation ng iba't ibang sektor ng paggawa. Mas mababa ang araw-araw na sweldo ng mga kababaihan kumpara sa mga kalalakian. Small and medium scale enterprises. The Philippines has a high number of women involved in micro, small, and medium enterprises. Women often lack in entrepreneurial knowledge and skills. Government support programs aim to assist women in starting the sustaining their businesses. Malaki ang bilang ng mga kababaihan sa Pilipinas na kasapi ng mga maliliit at gitnang negosyo. Madalas na kulang sa kaalaman at kasanayan ang pagninegosyo ng mga kababaihan ito. Ang mga programa ng suporta ng gobyerno ay layuning tulungan ang mga kababaihan sa pagpatayo at pananatili ng kanilang mga negosyo. Women in the Rural Agriculture Sector Women play an important role in agriculture in the Philippines. Access to resources and decision-making is limited for women in this sector. Women farmers face challenges such as unpaid domestic work and care burden. Mahalagang papel ang ginagampanan ng mga kababaihan sa agrikultura ng Pilipinas. Limitado ang akses ng mga kababaihan na mapagkukunan at proseso ng pagdidesisyon sa sektor na ito. Hinaharap ng mga magsasaka ng kababaihan ang mga hamon tulad ng hindi pagbayad ng trabaho sa bahay at mga responsibilidad ng pag-aalaga. So as to compare, I also experience women in work in the Philippines because as a worker student before, I applied to some different restaurants to earn money and fulfill my basic needs. And the day that I wanted to apply, the owner of the restaurants that I wanted to apply told me if 
I am sincere, sincerely committed to work with them and the possible position that I will get if I start. They said that because I know that they think I'm weak because I'm thin and small. They think that I may not I might not be able to keep up with other staff members because the work is too heavy but I did not give up and I accepted and I accepted that no matter what my experience would be and they would give me a chance so that I could start it working. A few months passed and I said goodbye that I would stop working because I would like to focus on my study first and after I said goodbye our boss talked to me because they admi admire me because I was able to last them for 7 months without doubt or anything.